You'd think electric vehicles, EVs, would be flying off dealership lots, right? With all the buzz about going green, cutting emissions, and the cool factor of driving a silent tech pack car, EVs should be a dealer's dream. But guess what? Dealers are actually dumping EVs like last season's fashion. Yep, it's true, and it's making headlines everywhere. So, what's really going on? Let's dive into the reasons behind this. One of the most significant hurdles for EVs is the charging infrastructure, or the lack thereof. Consider this. In early 2024, the UK had around 57,290 charging points spread across 32,575 locations. Sounds like a decent network, right? But with over a million fully electric vehicles and 620,000 plug-in hybrids on the road, this number barely scratches the surface. The UK government projects that by 2030, around 300,000 charge points will be necessary. Yet, the current rate of installation is lagging behind, making this goal seem elusive. Why does this matter so much? Without a robust and accessible charging network, consumers are understandably hesitant to fully commit to EVs. Imagine being on a road trip and struggling to find a place to charge your vehicle. It's stressful and inconvenient, and it's a significant deterrent for potential buyers. Dealers are recognizing this hesitation and are beginning to scale back their EV offerings. But it's not just about the sheer number of chargers. The location and reliability of these chargers play a crucial role. The government is wary of investing heavily in charging infrastructure without solid data on consumer behavior. Should they focus on installing fast chargers for long journeys or slower, more affordable chargers for daily use. This uncertainty makes it risky for dealers to invest heavily in EVs, particularly in areas where charging points are either sparse or unreliable. Moreover, installing new charging points often involves navigating a maze of bureaucratic red tape. Dealers must secure permissions from local councils and other regulatory bodies, leading to significant delays or even project cancellations. This administrative hassle slows down the expansion of the charging network, making EVs less practical for every everyday use. Dealers are growing frustrated with these obstacles, which contribute to their reluctance to maintain large EV inventories. Graphic disparities further complicate the situation. For instance, London has around 80 public charge points per 100,000 people, while regions like Yorkshire have only 20. In less developed areas, the lack of convenient charging options make EVs less attractive. Dealers in these regions face a tough challenge. Selling EVs in areas with limited infrastructure is like trying to sell ice to an Eskimo. With demand likely to be low, dealers in these regions are less inclined to offer EVs. Economic factors are also influencing dealers' decisions. High interest rates have made EVs, which are already more expensive than traditional petrol or diesel cars, even less affordable. When financing is harder to secure, potential buyers are less likely to opt for an EV. Dealers are noticing this shift in the market and are reassessing their stock accordingly. The landscape of EV sales has shifted dramatically from a few years ago. After a period of high demand and long waiting lists, we're now seeing a surge in EV inventory. Recent data reveals that EV inventory has skyrocketed by 506% compared to last year. That's right, dealerships now have a glut of EVs sitting on their lots for an average of 82 days. To put this in perspective, gasoline cars typically sell in 64 days. Scott Kuhn, COO of Kuhn's Auto and RV Group, reflects this trend, saying, We have turned away EV inventory. We need to ensure that we have a good turn on it. This statement highlights a broader trend among dealers who are now hesitant to accept more electric vehicles. As manufacturing ramps up to meet high production targets, many dealers are grappling with unsold EVs and are even refusing additional stock. So what's driving this inventory glut? Several factors are at play. Sam Fiorini, an automotive forecaster, points out that while high EV prices are a factor, concerns about charging infrastructure and range anxiety are also significant. These issues are deterring potential buyers and affecting how quickly these vehicles move off the lots. Even though the average price of an EV has decreased to $50,000, $683, it remains higher than most gasoline vehicles. This price gap adds to the financial burden for buyers. Julia Martinez, an analyst, explains that many consumers still prioritize price over the benefits of EVs. Despite various incentives, the initial cost of electric vehicles remains a significant barrier. With gas prices falling, the relative value of EVs becomes less compelling to many buyers. This disconnect between production levels and consumer interest is becoming more evident. Automakers like Ford and General Motors are heavily investing in EVs, but the market isn't absorbing these vehicles as quickly as anticipated. As inventory continues to pile up, dealers face the challenge of navigating shifting consumer preferences and managing their stock effectively. Switching to EVs isn't just about selling them, it's also about maintaining and repairing them. For dealers, upgrading facilities to handle EVs involves substantial costs. This includes installing charging stations, acquiring specialized tools, and training technicians, all of which can run into tens of thousands of dollars. Some automakers 
bankers like Volkswagen offer financial support to help cover these costs. However, others like Ford and GM leave dealers to bear the full expense. Consumer demand for EVs hasn't met expectations. Many shoppers continue to prefer traditional gas-powered cars, partly due to the lack of widespread charging infrastructure. This reality makes it challenging for dealers to justify the hefty investment required for EVs. A recent example underscores these concerns. Hertz decided to sell off about 20,000 EVs from its fleet. The company cited high operational costs, including repair and collision expenses, as key reasons for their decision. Hertz had initially planned to convert 25% of its fleet to electric by the end of 2024, but is now shifting its focus back to gas-powered vehicles. Falling used EV prices are also creating additional pressure. As new EV prices decrease and inventories rise, the resale value of used EVs drops significantly. This trend makes it difficult for dealers to recoup their investments. For instance, Hertz is selling Tesla Model 3s for about half their original price, reflecting the downward trend. The depreciation of used EVs further discourages dealers from investing in new stock. Finally, let's tackle consumer hesitation. Even with all the right pieces in place like cars, batteries, funding, and the Inflation Reduction Act, there's a deep-seated hesitation that's proving difficult to overcome. First and foremost, education is a big hurdle. We've got the technology, but there's a significant gap in understanding how EVs work and their benefits. Many people are still unfamiliar with the basics of EV technology, such as battery maintenance, charging cycles, and overall performance. This lack of knowledge creates a fear of the unknown, which is a major barrier. Consumers are often skeptical about making a switch when they don't fully grasp what they're getting into or how it compares to their familiar gas-powered cars. Next, let's talk about the perceived reliability of EVs. Gas-powered cars have been around for decades and have established a reputation for reliability. EVs, on the other hand, are relatively new and are still proving themselves in the market. Concerns about battery longevity, potential breakdowns, and repair costs make people wary. The uncertainty surrounding these aspects makes traditional gas cars seem like a safer bet for many consumers. Cost is another significant factor. While the Inflation Reduction Act offers some financial incentives, the initial cost of EVs is still high. Even with tax breaks, the upfront investment can be daunting. Many consumers see gas-powered cars as more budget-friendly, especially considering that they're familiar with their maintenance and operational costs. Habit and familiarity play a huge role too. People are creatures of habit, and switching from a gas powered car to an EV requires a mental shift. The idea of transitioning to a new type of vehicle with different driving dynamics and maintenance routines can be intimidating. Moreover, there's the pressing issue of long-term value and investment with electric vehicles, EVs. One major concern for buyers is the longevity of EV batteries. While advancements are being made, there remains uncertainty about how long these batteries will last and what the replacement costs might be. Additionally, the rapid pace of technological innovation in the EV market creates anxiety about obsolescence lessons. Many consumers worried that the EV they purchased today could quickly become outdated as newer, more advanced models hit the market. This fear of investing in a vehicle that may lose its value or become obsolete sooner than expected is significant. Buyers question whether their investment will provide lasting value or if they'll end up with an outdated vehicle, which only intensifies their hesitation to commit to EVs. This combination of battery durability concerns and technological uncertainty keeps many buyers sticking with more familiar gas-powered cars. Due to these reasons, dealers are facing increasing pressure. The reluctance of consumers to embrace EVs translates into unsold inventory and financial strain for dealerships. As a result, many dealers are choosing to offload their EV stock to focus on vehicles that have a more proven track record of consumer acceptance. So what do you think? Do you believe the EV market will stabilize soon, or is there a bigger shift on the horizon? We'd love to hear your thoughts. If you found this video insightful, make sure to hit that like button and share it with friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel Thanks for watching. See you next time.